team coverage continues now with our Jason Allen, who we spoke with last night through the night, and then he rode out the storm overnight in South Texas. Tonight, though, he is in Holly Beach, Louisiana, an area that did take a big hit. Jason, good evening. What kind of damage are you seeing there? A, a lot of damage, Doug, and I think what stands out right now at this hour, almost 18 hours after the storm hit, is just how little we see on, on the cleanup. Normally, this time, this long after a storm, you'd you'd hear chainsaws, you'd hear hammers and nails, you'd see people moving around, but instead, all you hear is the wind, some sheet metal bouncing around every once in a while, and that's about it. And that is largely because of all this debris and just how impassable the roads are right now. Although. Uh, we did meet a man and his son-in-law who were able to get here today, and we were with them as they got in to see their home for the first time. Just sitting there, try, you know, restless night, uh, trying to figure out, you know, what we were coming back to, if we were coming back to anything at all. It means a lot. I'm, I'm hoping I, we left. We left with like, you know, a week supply of clothes and all the other stuff and thinking that the house is going to be okay. I figured I'd lose the garage, but didn't expect it to be this, this damaged. The Broussard family was really worried more about the surge than the wind, but it was the wind at the end of the day that did the most damage to the homes here. And in their home, the roof is torn open. There are, there are holes in the walls. The, the door, the front door, which he told me was designed to open out and withstand the winds, it was blown in. The entire frame was blown in. And all of the drawers, I thought this was interesting, all the drawers in the kitchen were open when they walked in, which was a sign of just uh, how much Laura's winds were moving that house around. Uh, the positive, I guess, for people who live here tonight, Doug, if there is one, is that there are still homes standing. In previous hurricanes, and Rita, they told me that in some cases the slate was just wiped clean. At least now they have something to work on and rebuild. We are live tonight in Holly Beach, Louisiana. Jason Allen, CBS 11 News. Jason.